here we go start of another little job just going to pull this lot out and do a bit of a transformation i think i'm going to bring a new feature in called cut of the day um yeah i just cut the thumb this one this time just called it on this um edge of this so just rubbing that bit of laminate on there because i'm moonlighting at the moment from the boat i'm just uh dropping in the kitchen for somebody they gone on holiday and i just took over the house and cracking on here like you know um yeah thanks for the all the comments i see cindy's put the video out this morning saturday morning um yeah i'll be back cracking on with the boat next week anyway so anyway speak to you all later Hello there saturday morning uh yeah the little cheeky kitchen i was doing i've now finished um give you a little pan round of it that's what we've done one of the people been away on holiday they're coming back on monday so yeah it's all uh good to go from they just got to finish off the decorate and get the floor done um but my work is now complete which i'm pleased with so yeah i think well i know they'll be well over the moon with it so there we go so i can now get on back to the workshop do a few bits and pieces and i'll be back up to the boat on on monday speak to you all later yeah hello there i'm over at christie's and michaela's down and um, i'm going back to the boat on monday i think and michaela's here now doing my hair but the other thing is where christie and phil make all the honey they've now harvested it and they've jarred it up and these are their wonderful done jars they've got for their honey um so yeah if you want any honey just get in touch yeah good morning everybody sunday morning in the workshop seems bloody ages since i've been in here but um yeah it's sunday august the 11th i think i'm just getting ready to go back up to the boat tomorrow because i did get all the doors painted the other day over the last couple of weeks while I was doing this kitchen, but I didn't do much filming. You know, I just didn't really get it together like, but anyway, all the doors are all painted. They're all loaded on the van. Uh, I'm just gonna cut up a couple of bits of oak that I need for the shelves in the kitchen. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. I see uh, I keep getting more subscribers. So welcome on board all of you people. Um, I know one or two people they get on and they really watch the whole flipping series of them, but anyway, um, I'm glad you're still all enjoying it. People ask me, what am I going to do when uh, the boat's finished? Well, get on and enjoy the boat. Like, you know, that's going to be the project, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'll probably have to find something to occupy myself with. But uh, we won't worry about that at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to put it on time lapse and uh, we'll just cut up this bit of wood. And all I've got to do now is just clear this bit of mess up in here. Um, yeah, interesting enough. Uh, oh, look, there he is. He couldn't bloody wait. As soon as he just done that bit of film and he jumped straight in the bloody front, waiting to go so nobody gets the front seat. Um, yeah, we haven't got much in today, so it obviously shows we must be coming to the end of the boat because normally I'm absolutely full up. But yeah, what a... Excuse my French, what a shitty day. Anyway, I'm going to clear up and spend a bit of time with Cindy before I go off early tomorrow morning. Speak to you all later. Yeah, good morning. Monday morning. Um, back up at the boat. I was awake bright and early, so I got on the road at 3 o'clock this morning. We got here about 20 to 7, so I had a couple of hours sleep. So I'm just now getting masked up, ready to start painting. I'm just going to go out to the van now and find Lazy Boy and uh, he can hold the camera for us because i expect he's fast asleep in the van exhausted from his drive up in look here he is dead as a post well he is a post for a free post three little skinny posts put together isn't he but trevor come on up you get you've got work to do boy yeah come on 
So yeah, my other neighbour's gone from here, so uh, it's all looking a bit sparse here. But anyway, we'll crack on and get some work done today. Yeah, well that's all the, oh no, I've missed a bit of masking. That's the, the, all the floor just about masked up. So I can cut the paint working around the bottom and it'll keep the paint off the floor when I start throwing it about. Um, so yeah, we're up here again. So a uh, big push now for a few days to get the painting done. I just hope the electrician ain't been yet, so I just hope he's not turning up this week now. I hope he's putting in for next week. I suppose he's been waiting on the panel that he was getting. Uh, that's not a problem. We don't need him yet anyway, so just hope he doesn't come this week. Um, yeah, as soon as he's coming up the weekend. Uh, See the progress, so uh, hopefully we'll have all the all the kitchens going to be uh, all done. So I've just now got a, I've got some various bits of filler around here on the framework, so I'm going to get on and get that all rubbed down, and then I can get a bit of primer undercoat on, and we'll stop for a cup of tea. Speak to you later. There we go. We've got the first uh, first coat of the colour on, so it totally changes the look straight away. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. Right, a cup of tea and a piece of cake time, I think. Yeah, good morning. Um, eight o'clock, I've been up an hour. I've just got uh, another coat on the framework here. The kitchen. Um, yeah, it looks like quite a nice day, so I'm gonna get the bed took apart and get that outside and get some paint and varnish on the inside of the drawers and get that underway. There's also some panels in the bedroom the size of the wardrobes that need a coat of paint as well so we'll get them all underway. So I'll undo the few screws here and then this part of the bed can go outside as well. I've had to put the other stuff down in the shower there so there we go get on outside and crack on with some other bit. Well, that's uh, all the bed all now got his first drop of undercoat on. I've got undercoat on these side panels here. Um, as I say, we're down in the, just in the galley, getting myself a bit of all kettles boiling. Yeah, it's all changed a bit from when I first come on here, isn't it? Yeah, got some eggs in the pan. Gonna have ham and eggs for breakfast. Um, then get on and do a bit more. Yeah, hello there. That's if you can hear me, if the microphone's working. Yeah, I'm just um, making some shells up. We're going to have this, this one's going through there like so, and then um, we've got one for the end here and one for there, and then I'm going to make, with some of the metal and the studs, I'm going to make some gallery rail to go round, which should be made like my mirror I made. Uh, I'm going to have to come and turn Trevor, because he, well basically he's not that clever in respect of he can't turn the camera, so... You know, I'm going to turn it round. I've got to bloody do it for him. Of course, we've had his trousers fall down just now. One leg, which he's now he's on about. Could he have braces? I oh, think so you're just trying to bloody mimic me, aren't you? Um, yeah, then we got this one for here. Which that's going to sit in there somehow. And then as I say, I've had to keep it cut back because obviously we've got to deal with the shutters as well. But... Uh, it also means I can make a little cat's end and hold the shutters back when we want the shutters open. So yeah, that's why we're out at the moment. Um, I can get on with these bits while the paint's going off before I put another coat of paint on. So 
yeah, that's where we're at. Speak to you later. Good morning, Wednesday morning. I've now got all the paintwork done in the kitchen here. I'm also now just dry fitting these shelves. There's that one under there. And then uh, we've got that one under there. Um, and then it means because of the way the shutters, I can make a little catch here then to hold the shutters back as well, which would be quite handy. So yeah, it's all going, all going good. I'm just going to go out and put the last coat on the coat of paint on the bed frames outside. And then I put the bed back. So I slept on the floor last night, which is all right, but a bit hard getting down in my old age. But there we go. This because it might be handy for somebody to see. Um, I'm putting up these corner shelves. Um, but basically, so that you don't see any fixings, I cut this little rebate out round there, make up these little sticks and drill them and screw them on. And then basically, I'll put a bit of glue behind there when I'm ready to actually fit them. And they're fixed and you've got no obvious fixings. You can see the little square where I've cut out there, but you won't see it because um, on these I've got the metal going round here to finish it off. So it won't really matter so yeah I just thought I'd show you that little ditty um, you know I'm trying to be a bit more mindful of filming at the moment make sure I get enough filming bits done to keep you people happy because uh, you obviously seem to like uh, like watching which is good because we all learn through watching. I learn a lot through watching. I watch various bits and pieces on the internet. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's quite just fun looking into other people's lives, isn't it? And it's irrelevant in a way whether it's good or bad. Because who's to say what's good or bad? Like you know, it's everybody doing their own thing, isn't it? Anyway, enough of that waffle. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to put the oven in now. It can go in properly now for the for the last time. So no more in and outs. Just done the cable connection, so I can now I can pick it up. Get it in the hole where it belongs. Just uh, going around getting the drawers in now. As you can see, fitting these uh, handles on, which uh, really nice, just cast iron handles, plain and simple. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Getting on. Morning, Thursday morning. I'm just going to carry on getting the doors on. Um, been wet in the night. It's been quite wet out there now. There's old trusty Trev. I've got his pants pulled down. He's only got one, two pants up, one's down. So I'll have to fix him up later on. But anyway, Trev's going to hold the camera and do a bit of um, time lapse while I fit these doors. Yeah, well, there we go, that's another pair of doors put on. Um, 
Yeah, I wish it was as easy doing it as it is in time lapse like, but uh, I do struggle now getting up and down the floor. But yeah, just like these doors, they're not all these doors as you can see. They're all they're all quite small because that's how modularly made the units. Because you know, being down in the galley here, there's not a lot of room. And the good thing is with these doors, which are all hinged like this, you can actually open the doors right up to get maximum room into the cupboard. Also, you can get down on the floor and. You know, with larger doors and on modern kitchens where they only open so far, I know you can get swing right back hinges, but they don't put that on all standard units. Um, yeah, you get good accessibility. Also, the nice thing with this handmade kitchen is is that uh, it will last forever, and it could be you can just get you get fed up with the colour, you could just repaint it and change the colour. And really, but I don't think I'll get fed up with the colour. Nor will Cindy, because we really like the colour. But, you know, in futures to come when, when we're dead and gone and somebody else owns the boat, like, you know, they can, uh, there's no need to rip it out because I don't think you could improve on the layout, like, you know, but uh, that's just my opinion for what it's worth. Anyway, enough of that waffle. I'm going to crack. Trevor, breathe in. Oh, quite a tight squeeze without knocking the camera. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd bring you in on this one. This is the... Um, the very last door on the boat to be hung. This is the end of any door hanging because this is the last one. This is the last little cupboard door above the top of the other nails in. So I thought I'd just share that one with you all. Um, yeah, sort of. It's quite mad, it's like a double-edged sword. On the one hand, I'm relieved, and on the other hand, there's a sort of sadness as well, because it means it's getting towards the end of the boat. But I don't think I want to build another bloody boat. I don't want to do it. Like I said, the project, somebody said, what's your next project? Well, actually, the next project is... Just to get out there adjust to living on the boat, adjust to not going to work and just actually getting on with it all like and enjoying it. Yeah, that's better. Right, there we go, last door on. Yeah, next thing I'm doing now is just sorting these drawers out here underneath the the oven. I've got, uh, at the bottom, I've got a waste bin pull out with two compartments and then two more drawers. And then I thought, actually, I better just uh, make some blocks up for spaces for the bin. And I thought, I better get the charger in because the drill's going to go any minute. And sure enough, it did. And of course, my van's in such a mess, I'm not sure where the other battery is, so uh, I've just had to put it on charge there for a minute. But anyway, there's always plenty to do, so I'm going to go back up to the other end of the boat now and stick a couple of trims on in the bedroom. Excuse me, Trevor. Tight squeeze in here. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Friday morning. I'm just uh, finish off bits in the galley. I'm just uh, putting these little ball catches in. They're just a little brass tube with a ball bearing in and you just drill a hole in the door like so um, and then uh, you just you don't want the hole too big you got to do it just right so that it tightens up when you drive it in with the hammer so that's it goes in Let's go a little bit more. And that's it. Little click. Um, 
you do get uh, little grass keepers as well if you want to put them on but uh, I don't always think they need it to be honest it's not fluffing about so I don't think we'll put them on they can look a bit messy by the time you get the you only just stamped out a bit of grass and by the time you get the screws in as well and the screw head stick out it just all looks a bit messy to me so I might just I mark it like so now I just do a little indentation just for the ball to catch and that's it that's all it needs it don't need the, the rest of it that's in my opinion though somebody else might differ but there we go we're all different That's it, that's my little bit for this morning. Right, that's all the catching it's done. Um, in this jar here, this is um, a pot of beeswax from Christian Fields Bees, which she gave me the other week. So basically, I'm just waxing the drawer runners. So you just got some on the cloth there. And then I'll just go down through the, through there with it. Um, a little bit on the bottom of the drawer as well, just to keep it all going. And then, uh, yeah, makes it slide nice and easy. So, you know, all the modern devices are all very good, but you can't really beat a bit of just old tradition. There's nothing really that can go wrong with that, and that will last the next two years. Um, whereas on these, I have got the the metal runners on there, because there's quite a weight going in the drawer, and the way I've designed the drawer, they needed to come out like that. So, um, that's those two there, um, which are on the self-closers. Um, and then on the bottom one here, we've got the uh, two waste bins in there. So, which again, I thought I'd put underneath the oven housings. It's it's out the way there. You can get to it if we're in the kitchen here working. Um, and then it's all ready to go out of the boat when we find a rubbish station. So yeah, there you go. I'm just waiting for a couple of hours. I've got two handles. I uh, underestimated all the handles. I've got one cut for there. I want to go on the door there, but I love that little click noise of the, the catch. Um, so yeah, there we go. I'm just getting these bits and bobs out of the way today. Yeah, hello there. Got to bring in on this. This is the um, the rails I'm making up for the around the shelves, fiddle rails or gallery rails. So they're going to be like so, and then. Um, Studs to go up, holster studs they are, and they'll just go in there like so, in there, and then I'll weld the back on, and um, give them a bit of a buff up and fix them around and they should be good. And that's what we're up to, so we'll crack on with that. Just got a little jig rigged up here, just holds a bit of metal, and we can drill the plates out. Now if I was at home I'd have it in the little pillar drill but uh, not at home, so you've got to improvise. And then I'll be borrowing my mate Aaron's welder. He's kind of said I could borrow it. Not that I've really done any welding before, but I'm sure he'll be able to do it.
Now we've only got a few more of them to do then this one here that's the little shelf above the bathroom sink. Anyway I'm going to stop it there, put it on super fast or whatever you want to call it. I've just got the cap on for a cup of tea. Um, as you can see, I've got this one on. Yeah, it's that bloody strong. You can have it as a rail. You can swing off of that, like you know, because I've screwed each one in. And then what I'm going to do now is I've got the hole in the centre, so then uh, I can just put the bottom studs over because I didn't want to. I didn't want to rely on the studs just to hold it in because in case they pulled out. But I do tend to over engineer a lot of stuff, but then uh, it ain't going anywhere then, is it? So. Now yesterday when I was putting the bed back together, I was like washed the floor before I was screwing it down and of course I did move the bloody bowl of water. Next filler now, I've realised I've got the end of the mattress dipped in the water. So I hooked that out, and got me leg caught and went arse over tip and smacked me head, hit me back and my bum. And I... Today everything's all a bit stiff like, you know. And there we go. Accidents happen. And there we go, one gallery rail, I'm really pleased with that. It complements the, the fireplace and that and just gives it all a little connection, in my opinion. So yeah, you could bloody rope the boat to that and I don't think it would come off. Cindy won't be wanting my work kettle, she'll be uh, having her eyes set on something nice to go on the hob because we won't be having an electric kettle, it'll be on the gas. Um, so yeah, it's all coming together well, like you know, I enjoy doing these, making these rails up anyway. Um, just get these last two in. Yeah, see how those two in there. We've got those ones up there, and it's just the back one to go in, which is I've just finished off. Yeah, good morning. Um, Saturday. Uh, quarter past seven. I've been up since uh, with the larks. Uh, yeah, I'm just um, I'm wrapping these. These are the grills that are going on this panel here, and this panel sits above my hot water cylinder in the corner, and so it will let a bit of warm air come out in case we have any jackets hung up above or whatever. Um, so yeah, this is up. Put them in a minute. Um, and yeah, we've also got another one, which, uh, that one there, which is just going above the other there, because I've left the, so the air can go f through there and any warm air can expel out through the top there. So yeah, it's a little grill just to go up there to finish it off. Um, yeah, I had some people come by last night, I said, hello Colin, I said, she said, oh, we're, we're, um, we follow you on your channel like you know um 
and that's Jasmine and Paul. Hello to Jasmine and Paul. Yeah, thanks for coming by. And um, they've just put the boat in on Wednesday, apparently. Here, I'm going to pop down and see them later on this morning. Um, yeah, they pulled the welder and they built built their own boat, and uh, they've obviously got to finish it off yet. But they had it put in here, and they're going to be here for a little while getting finished off. So they came up and said hello yesterday, which is really nice. So uh, yeah, I'm going to pop down and see them later on. Cindy's on her way up. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stick these in. Right, there we go. All cleaned up, ready for the presentation. Cindy's just arrived. She doesn't know what the camera going. So um, we'll catch her reaction on camera. That is good white. Good morning, Monday morning, bright and early. Well, not that bright and early, half past seven now. Um, yeah, I've been up this morning and I'm just giving these tops a sand down because where I put the grout on, that black grout, and it gets it, it gets in the grain so that there's various black marks. So I'm just giving it a good rub back with some 1200 paper this morning. Um, and then I get it dusted off. And we'll get a coat of um, Osmo oil on there this morning. Uh, then I'll be outside working on the windows, weather permitting, because I've got a few little alterations to do, and then you just sand back and get the new finish on. So, yeah, that's what we're up to this morning. Um, yeah, Cindy came up the weekend, which was nice. She likes everything and it's all going. Um, but, yeah, really, I'm, I'm, I'm nearing the stage of actually completion inside the boat. I've got there's various little jobs that I need that I want to attend to, like, but uh, you know, and obviously I've got to do the get filled up with water and get the water on and check all that out. But I'm not going to do that till I come back after our, our holiday, going a little holiday from next Saturday for a week. Um, so yeah, it's all going very good. I sort of think, wow, I've nearly I'm nearly there with it. Met a lovely couple at last one for the weekend. They got a lovely story. They bought the front end of a boat, um, for, I think for 350 quid, and Paul's a welder and he built himself a boat around it. And um, they actually put their boat in here and he said, oh, that's that place where that Colin's got his boat. So we sort of hooked up and that and I went and saw their boat. And uh, yeah, it's a really fair place for them both. You know, they're, um, they're really getting on great with it, you know. So yeah, it takes all sorts. But anyway, there we go. So uh, anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off and crack on with this because I can't see loads of sand in. Yeah, I'm outside here working on these windows and what I've had to do is I've had to elongate this drain hole so uh, it's more of an angle so the water will run out of the galley at the back and also I've made this rebate here so any water that comes down and sits there it will help disperse more water rather than all going down behind the glass. So hopefully that's going to do the trick and then uh, just re-sanded them back really just put some little varnish on and then get all the bloody sticky stuff off but I've got some good remover so that shouldn't be too much of a problem just got to hope that the uh, weather's don't yeah so here we go is the the windows as I say these are the alterations I've done I've put this tube in here and it's at an angle now so the drain water won't sit in the back and I've also done this so the water and he's come on and run off there a bit and help it. But uh, yeah, they're all good to go really. I'm going to give them two more coats of varnish. So what I'm going to do is uh, we just go around the other side. I've got to cut the tarpaulin up and I'm just going to have them covered up at night. And I'm going to leave that on until I come back in a couple of weeks time. And... Uh, we can do it, but yeah, there we go. I really like the look of all that, except for the green tarpaulins, but they'll soon coming down. So, uh, yeah, I've had the roof windows off, they're about to go back on as well. So, busy old moment, busy old week so far. Hello there. Oh, turn it round. I'm just doing some slats in the airing cupboard 
Um, that's one I've just got in there now because when you do these you've got to make them so they can come out in case you ever need to get in there so that's that one that will come out it's got to trim it up and I can use that as a pattern to make the one for the next shelf up so yeah I'm just scratching about really getting all well not scratching I've been working bloody hard but getting all the little odds and sods done um, all the windows are now sorted they've got to have another two coats of varnish but I've run out so I've got four coats on already so I should cover them back up for the next couple of weeks because I should be going home in a bit. Um, yeah, inside there we go. I've got the stays on now so we can open all the windows up and they won't fall right through. So yeah, I'm quite pleased how they work. Um, but yeah, we're. Uh, I'm just really getting all the last little odds and sods done. So. Uh, I'll be away either tonight or first thing in the morning. Speak morning Thursday morning, four o'clock in the morning. I'm all packed up going now. And it's absolutely chucking it down with rain outside. So somebody was looking after me the last three days to get finished off. But yeah, basically the inside of the boat is finished. So I've got a couple of little tiny little bits to do, but nothing all very insignificant. So quick walk through, then I'll get on the road. So yeah, here we go. Well, you've all seen this before, most of you have seen this before, but uh, yeah, we're all sort of finished now, got the shells up. And we've got the light, all the lights on. So I just went with the electrician to come, we had a bit of a mix up over things, but uh, anyway, we'll be coming in a couple of weeks time now and just get finished off. So yeah, here we go. The kitchen's all done. Yeah, got all the various drawers. Oh, that's handy. Open that drawer. It's a bag of rubbish there and take that with me. Good thinking, Batman. And yeah, we're all done. Corner cupboard worked out well. Got the carousels in there. So yeah, there we go. And that about wraps it up for for this episode. Um, another week off, gone a little holiday, me and Cindy, and then uh, get back to it and get the sofas made. And um, the doors for the back of the boat and some seating for the front. Speak to you later. Thanks for watching.